episodes of Dimension W are a murder mystery that will scare you to the core. It's like a combination of Clue, Resident Evil, and Scooby-Doo. You guys probably noticed that I did not review Dimension W last week, and that's because I was busy as shit. I just didn't have the time to sit down and watch the episode and put out a review that day, so I decided I would wait until this week's episode so I could review both of these episodes together. And you know what? That actually works out because this is a two-parter self-contained story, which is frankly kind of confusing. But when you watch them back-to-back -back a couple of times, they actually start to make sense, and they also start to expand on the world of Dimension W in a really great way, because I think one of the biggest things about Dimension W is how it plays with the concepts of parallel universes and time travel. This is a series that actually plays with the space-time continuum and completely just rips it to shreds, turns it into confetti, and throws it right into your face with some anime style. Not to mention these episodes had lots of Mira fan service. So let me try my best to actually try and explain what the hell is going on in these two episodes. So, there is this author who is staying at this haunted hotel who was killed by these ghosts and they killed him by drowning. And that's because they're actually made out of water. More on that later. So, Kiyoma and Mira and believe it or not, Albert Schumann from New Tesla are going to have to team up together, go to this haunted hotel, and solve the mystery of this author who's been killed. And it's a big whodunit story with lots of brand new characters who are thrown right into your face, including a Lolita vampire girl by the name of Ellie. So there's a lot to take in in the first episode right here. It's very, 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 very strange, especially at the end of the episode, because as they're trying to figure out this whole murder mystery, you have Mira, who is reading all of these books which have been written by this author, and they're all completely freaking horrifying, and because she has such intense human emotions, she is feeling all of the fear, and she is scared of everything, and it's only a matter of time until she is literally sucked into this almost other dimension-like world of Dimension W, which is like a freaking horror film. And you get to see some real ghastly imagery, like this one chick whose arm is completely ripped to shreds, not to mention she's carrying around a golf club covered in barbed wire! Can you see why just trying to explain this episode is ridiculous? There's so much information to take in here. Not to mention we also learned that Albert Schumann used to be a part of Grendel, the same group as Kiyoma, and that is going to change his character greatly for me because I always thought of Albert Schumann as being like a big antagonistic force. Now he might actually be something of a friendly rivalry for Kiyoma. Not to mention they seem to fight each other a couple of times in these episodes in some scenes which look pretty damn awesome. You know, Schumann can take a couple of punches to the face, but basically he makes this amazing exit out of this window like a freaking ninja. So after lots of Mira fan service, in particular a scene where she is just getting out of the shower, holy crap it's so ridiculous. It's all followed by a lot of creepy imagery with her literally getting captured by these otherworldly ghosts which are hanging out in this parallel other time dimension which was created through this experiment with crazy coils. So I'm going to try and explain what's going on here. So basically, in the past, there were these students who were experimenting with this numbered coil, and the local government and people didn't want them to do this, so basically they were going to try and take down their entire operation with this really creepy, molesting cameraman who ended up getting killed by one of the students, and they tried to cover it up and destroy everything by releasing the water over the dam. What ended up happening is all of these students ended up getting captured, and pretty much all of them were killed. However, there were two survivors, this guy by the name of Kamiki and this girl by the name of Enamori. He was able to save her, but he wasn't able to save the friends. However, he felt immense guilt because basically she had all of her memories lost, she became completely comatose and freaked out and didn't want to have anything to do with anyone. However, due to this crazy thing that happened with the coil, it actually created this parallel dimension where another course of events actually took place. The character of Kamiki he was able to save all of the other student friends, but not Anamori, and he felt this amazing guilt because he was never able to save her, so he literally used his past alternate dimension self to kill his future self with the power of coils and water ghosts. That's actually what happens. 
Oh, and for some odd reason, too, he's got these powers that allow him to summon, like, these carnage-looking blades on his arms. Doesn't make sense, but it kicks all sorts of ass! And thanks to the power of kicking ass and good detective work, Kiyoma and Mira are able to solve the mystery, and the other dimension is eventually dissolved, bringing everything back to reality, leaving everyone watching the episode scratching their heads, saying, that looks really cool, but what the hell did I just watch? So what's the rundown on these two episodes of Dimension W? They were very good, but they were very confusing at first, but damned if they didn't have some amazing imagery going for it. Not to mention that weird ending at the end of the episode, that scene with the maid. What the hell is up with that? I'm still so confused as to really what's going on here. That being said, I really did enjoy these episodes, a lot of which were for the atmosphere. This really did feel like a terrifying horror film, kind of like a classic whodunit story. Like I said, it kind of reminds me of Clue, and I hate to say it, Scooby-Doo as well is trying to find out who the villain is so that we can unmask them. I liked both of the episodes equally, because the first one didn't completely give away everything. It, they basically made it so you have to watch the next one in order to truly understand what's going on, and only until the end of that episode are things made actually clear to the viewer. So there's lots of speculation and lots of reason to enjoy watching this with friends as you all try to guess what's really going on here. It's pretty freaking insane. The imagery was also really great and a lot of the fight scenes were great with Kiyoma fighting against the water ghosts. Yeah, there were these weird water ghosts and that's actually apparently how they actually kill people by grabbing onto them and just their hands will put the water inside their bodies. It basically makes it really hard to trace who the killer is when they do something like that and it's crazy that this guy whose past self could actually take on a consciousness like this and go after the real version of that character it's so strange and i'm still trying to wrap my head around it this is just a very thought-provoking action-packed double parter of dimension w which is really a great case for why this show is going to go into a lot of like really weird places not to mention the introduction of some pretty key characters that lolita vampire girl ellie whose whole themes seem to just be around bats and vampires and she apparently is working with loser loser constantly makes his presence in the series and in a lot of cool ways he always seems to be in disguise i believe he was the manager of the hotel in this uh two-parter and that's not even revealed until the end of the episode and you had albert schumann who apparently was going after her but he decided to stop that because he had better intentions of wanting to help out Kiyoma. Like I said, at first he was painted as a villain, now he's being painted as kind of a good guy. So, I know this review is really convoluted and all over the place, but you know what? So are these two episodes right here. That being said, I thought they were really, really awesome, and I loved every single moment of them. I just want more moments between Kiyoma and Mira. There needs to be, like, more episodes where they interact with each other and expand upon their relationship, because as it is, Kiyoma basically just sort of puts up with her, although I have to admit it's really funny how he constantly sort of picks on her by making her sleep on the couch or constantly smacking her in the head or even outright punching her in the face, but because she's a robot it actually ends up hurting his hand. It's a really funny relationship that they have, but I just, I want more of that. I want to see more of that in the series goes on. Also, fan service people, if you love it, if you hate it, it might be kind of off-putting in this episode because there is a lot of it from Mira, you know, whether she's in the bathroom or whether she's tied up by chains but I'm able to get over that because I've just seen so much anime like that at this point. It's not too overly gratuitous, but it is there, so it might make some viewers feel uncomfortable. That being said, I think Mira's a really great character. I think Kiyoma's even more badass, and I can't wait to learn more about his past and see all the crazy coil adventures that they're going to go on. This was a crazy sci-fi murder mystery that you should definitely check out if you're wanting to see something really unique from your anime. So I'm going to give both of these episodes a four out of five. I really liked both of them a lot. They were just a little confusing to me. But if you did watch both of these episodes, make sure to tell me what you thought about them in the comment section below. Did you love this little murder mystery story? Do you have a favorite character from the series? What do you think of the new characters like Ellie the Lolita Vampire? And what do you want to see from the rest of Dimension W? Please tell me in the comment section below. You guys are awesome. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to like the review and subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys again for watching. And as always, stay dandy, baby.